Hi everyone, it's Audrey and welcome back to Chapter and Converse. Today's video is going to be one about a whole bunch of podcasts that I've been listening to lately. And I have gone like deep down a rabbit hole on author interviews and writing advice and sort of like the whole creative world and book reviews and like all sorts of other things. And I very much feel like these are podcasts that um, you don't have to be a writer to enjoy. You can just be a fan um, of the authors. And I am someone um, who very much enjoys hearing about sort of the story behind the story and the process and where people's ideas come from and kind of, you know, the writing life and not just like as a writer and sitting down and doing the writing, but also like you know, how these people got into writing in the first place and where their passion comes from and who their inspirations are and what they're reading and like all of that good stuff. So I don't think this is an exclusive video um, just for aspiring writers out there, but I do think that as an aspiring writer, you get other stuff out of these interviews, if that makes sense. But anyway, in addition to being a writer who's aspiring to be published, um, I am also someone who... Like when I find something I like and commit to it, I become a woman obsessed. And I have become completely obsessed with podcasts about authors and writing these days. And this is just a handful of the ones that I have discovered, but I have been like powering through so many of them and loving every minute of it. And part of what I am loving is I'm totally discovering new writers that I wasn't aware of before and I will admit like I am focusing either kind of to start with on writers that I already know about or if there is something kind of in the description that says like this is a thriller writer um, from the writer's side of me who is in the process of writing a thriller, I am tuning into those podcasts first, but I am discovering new people, I am hearing things about books um, that I never would have picked up otherwise and I am going to go out on yet another limb and dive into an author that I have never read before. So before we get into all that, and I'll tell you when um, we get to that podcast, this is just a smattering of podcasts that I've been listening to that I think are 100% worth the listen. They're all on iTunes. Um, so here we go. And the first podcast is called First Draft with Sarah Enney. And she is a writer herself, and she has recently put out a book, which is on a wish list of mine to check out. And she mostly, um, I shouldn't say mostly, she solely interviews authors of middle grade and adult fiction. And it is all about their creative process. It is about their books. It's about um, kind of like what keeps them going, what gets them to the keyboard in the first place. And it's just sort of these very open-ended, interesting discussions. And she had Carolyn Kempness, who wrote You, on her podcast. Um, she had Sarah Shepard, who wrote the Pretty Little Liars series and um, The Lying Game and The Perfectionist, which you know I love. I haven't read any of the books, but I watch all the TV shows because <laughs> I am still a 14-year-old girl at heart. But there's a whole bunch more authors that she has, but these are sort of like the two that stuck out for me. And it's very interesting to hear, again, sort of from the writer's perspectives. And with all these podcasts, there's sort of like different targets and different types of authors that they talk to and different things that they touch on. But they get into these very interesting in-depth conversations. And what's interesting um, about some but not all of the podcasters who run the podcast is some of them are writers themselves as well. And, you know, the questions and they talk about mutual processes that they go through. But again, I just love hearing from the writer's perspective, you know, what goes into their stories and what they think about their characters. And in the case of Carolyn Kempness, where she wrote you and it wound up you know, taking off and I think becoming a little bit of kind of like a cult classic in some ways. And when it hit Lifetime and started to hit more of the mainstream, um, it's definitely a very dark story. I've talked about it on here before with, you know, our beloved Joe Goldberg, the sociopath. And she wasn't done with him when you was done and she wanted to write a sequel. And, you know, it was that thing where like people didn't understand why she was so sort of in love with this character that she created because he's a horrible character. But I think what's so interesting is listening to these authors talk about, you know, 
how they create the characters they do and what makes them so complicated and you know nobody is all good and all bad and how that plays out and sort of how um, the authors lives themselves play out through their characters so hugely a fan of this one definitely um, if you're into middle grade and sort of adult authors check it out the next one is called 88 cups of tea and this is hosted by yin chang and what i didn't know about her until i actually looked her up herself i knew that she um was an actress in some respects because she talks about it and she has she has writers she has directors she has agents she has producers on her um her show it's sort of it's all about the creative process it's all about the creative industry and the journey but when i looked her up on imdb she actually is the actress who played nelly yuki on gossip girl which i love that character and she was also one of the characters in the movie the bling ring which is based on that true story about those teenagers who were breaking into the houses of like Paris Hilton and Orlando Bloom and all, you know, like stealing things and recording themselves and bragging about it and eventually got caught. Um, so she was in that amongst a whole bunch of other things. She's such a super engaging host of the series and she brings so many different perspectives to it, which I love. And I most recently listened to her and um, Victoria Schwab slash V.E. Schwab, depending on how you know her. And it was like this almost two hour podcast and they talk about like everything under the sun. This is not strictly about the creative process, but it's so much about the personal lives of the authors. And um, Yin herself shares so much of her personal story, which I think is amazing and interesting. And it was absolutely fascinating. And here we go. I am going to pick up Vicious by Victoria Schwab because I am so intrigued by her as an author. I obviously knew who she was. I knew her name. I very much thought it was like um, sort of middle grade fantasy. I wasn't as sort of conscious of her books and sort of who her target, target audience was, but I am wholly fascinated with her and I have, you know, shocker, listened to a ton of her interviews now since discovering this first one and like I'm in. I am all in. I am fascinated by her process. I'm fascinated by her journey but from a podcast standpoint, 88 Cups of Tea just goes into such an interesting um, depth with the people that she's interviewing and again, she's such an engaging host for it. There is sort of like a something for everyone on this. I will link all of these podcasts down below, by the way, but I love it. I am in, I am here for it. I have barely tipped the iceberg on this one. Um, so I am definitely going to continue far, far down this rabbit hole. The next podcast I found is called Writer's Routine, and this is hosted by Dan Simpson. Um, and it is a UK based podcast and he has an insane number of people and they are, you know, his focus is literally what it sounds like, the writer's routine. So he sort of starts everyone with like, what does your writing space work like? Where do you write? How, when, what? And eventually, you know, people get into ideas and some people talk about, you know, how they plot or how they edit um, their entire process. You know, if they have rituals that they follow, if they need certain things with them, literally what they're looking at when they're in their writing space. They talk about authors who inspire them. If it's, you know, people with series, they talk a lot about how people have changed over the years. If they approach things differently, does it get harder? Does it get easier? Almost every author talks about how it gets harder for them. Um, but again, it is it's just such a fascinating insight into what goes into the stories and what goes into the books and where the ideas come from. And again, I am someone who, the author is as much a part of the process for me a lot of the time, which is not to say that I have to know and like an author to be able to know and like their books, but I do find the more I get to know, you know, an author and learn about them, the more inclined I am to pick up more books by them or the more interested I become in them. And again, I'm wearing two hats here. I'm a reader and I am a writer, but I find it completely fascinating to hear about a lot of these people's routines. And some of it is like, you know, I'm walking the dog or I'm doing this or I'm picking the kids up from school or I am holed up, you know, until two o'clock in the morning or I don't get out of the chair until I, you know, type X number of words. And, um, 
you know, again, like where the ideas come from, what led from one book to the next, maybe in some cases, how they got published, how they got their agent, what their journey was. So many authors don't follow this path of like, I decided I wanted to be an author at eight and I pursued it in college and I got published when I was 22 and off I went. A lot of people had massive different careers before they got into this, which I think is just incredibly interesting to listen to. Um, but some of the authors he has had, and I wrote them all down because there's so many for the next two, um, Jeffrey Deaver, Lucy Whitehouse, C.L. Taylor, I talked about in um, an ebook haul that I did. I just discovered her. She's a psychological thriller writer, UK based. She's harder to find here. You can find everything on Book Depository, but like Amazon has a couple books, but I got an ebook um, from CL Taylor, which I'm super excited to read. And I'm so happy to have discovered her because of this podcast. Um, Sarah Pinborough, Fiona Barton, Susan Lewis, Liz Nugent. And it's really, you know, sort of like a diary of the creative person and the author. And some of these are authors whose books I have on my shelf. Some of these are authors I've heard about but haven't read before, but am intrigued to read at this point. Um, but it's all just extremely interesting to me. So yes, that is the writer's routine. And the last one is called Author Stories, and this is hosted by Hank Garner. And he has over 500 interviews on his channel. So you can get maybe like two or 300 of them are on iTunes, but then you can get his archived ones on his website. And like 500, it's insane, the range of authors that he talks to. And I should, you know, be clear, not all of these people only talk to psychological, thriller, suspense, mystery authors. They have people from historical fiction and YA and contemporary and romance and, um, I'm just focusing on sort of the thriller genre at this stage of the game for the most part, but he is, again, also engaging, um, also a writer. He has um, kind of like this inside the actor's studio approach to the podcast is what he wanted to create, and it's very much what he does. And um, it's just, it's fascinating to me. So here's the list of authors, a few of, that I have listened to with him. Um, Liv Constantine, Kate White, Jeffrey Deaver, Alifair Burke, Lisa Scottolini, uh, CJ Box, Linda Fairstein, Peter Swanson, Lisa Gardner, Fiona Barton, Taylor Adams, Lisa Jewell, Gilly, uh, Jilly McMillan, Kay Tucker. It is on and on and on. And I will say, listening to a lot of these authors talk about their books has gotten me even more excited to pick them up. So again, some of these people are on my shelf and I haven't picked up any of their books. Some of these are authors who maybe I've read a book by, um, but haven't picked up another one. And it's just sort of like re-sparked my excitement about a lot of people. And it's also been hugely interesting to hear them talk about books that I have read. And I would say, almost everything I've listened to has been completely spoiler free. And in some cases, if it's an author who has a series and they're talking about um, like a fourth or fifth book in a series, because a lot of times with, with um, Hank Garner's, it's like their new book has just come out or, um, you know, it's, it's coming out a week from now and they're doing kind of like a press tour on it. So if it is someone who has a series of books and they're talking about their current book, there is usually a level of assumption that you have read part of the series. So um, there was one author I was listening to, I'm not going to say it here, but they had made a mention of something that happened in a previous book about a character. And this is not a series that I have read, but it's one that I want to read. Here's this for a lot of super vagueness. Um, and they had mentioned, you know, something that a character did that was critical in a prior book. So like, now I know it, but at the same time, it's sort of like, it's here and it's gone kind of a thing. It's not going to change anything. Um, so I would say you are basically safe. And if it feels like you're not, you can always just sort of like fast forward through that part if you need to. But he has such an incredible range of authors on his, um, Chris Pavoni was on it also. And I just, I just love it. I don't even know how else to describe it. I love it. But seriously, you could spend a year listening to these 500, 500 you guys on this one alone. So yes, I am a woman obsessed and I could talk about podcasts all day long. This is just a handful of the ones that I've started to listen to. iTunes is an 
endless buffet of podcasts that you can find. And there are ones that are like on book reviews and like, you're probably like, yeah, we know you're a hundred years late to the game on this. But like, I just, this is like an entirely, like entirely untapped universe for me. It was like audiobooks. Like I knew they were there, but I was just doing other stuff. And now like, instead of listening to music while I'm doing things, um, I'm listening to podcasts while I'm doing things. But there are great ones for book reviews. I will probably do more of these videos as I continue to discover new ones. But I wanted to share this again with my writer hat on, with my reader hat on. If you are someone who is at all interested in learning about the people who write the books that you love to read, um, I think take a look at these find your authors there, find some new authors. There is so much to learn if you are a creative about what the process is, sort of what keeps people going, what keeps people motivated. The, um, the you know, the amount of times that these authors talk about their insecurities and their self doubt and their feeling that what they're writing is crap and you know how you just, you, you can't edit nothing. So get it down and maybe it is crap. Maybe it's better than you think it is, but you have to write the story. And, you know, I think listening to people talk about how you can get completely bogged down in one. Again, this is the writer hat on and sometimes you need to abandon it and you know, start a new story and persistence is sort of the key to the game here with getting published. And those who succeed in this business are people who persist because a lot of people start a book and don't finish it, or a lot of people give up and it is not an industry for the faint of heart. And I think this goes for anybody creative. There is rejection. You are putting yourself out there. The only way to get your book read is you have to let other people read it. It means you have to open yourself up and be vulnerable. And just listening to these authors talk about their experiences and their vulnerability and how they deal with bad reviews or how they deal with, um, you know, bad feedback. And it's just, it's all very interesting to me. And I just, I love the whole well-rounded story. Um, a book is not just a book for me. And I just, I, I live for the entire process of it all. So this is completely fascinating. And if you are someone who just likes to listen to authors talk about their books and listen to your favorite authors talk, there's something here for you too. So long story short, I am basically loving the podcast life right now. And yes, it is taking away from my reading and writing time. So I do need to rein it in, but I am just like, I feel like, I feel like a child who has like just woken up and discovered this entire new land. Kind of like when I discovered audiobooks. Um, it's just, you know, I know, I know, I know I'm late to the game, but whatever, I'm having a good time of it. So let me know if you listen to any of these, if you know of any great reading, writing podcasts, let me know about those too. Um, the list is insane of what is on iTunes and I am just starting to like filter my way through it all. But let me know if you're listening to these others, books you're listening to, books you're reading, authors you're loving, all that good stuff. And yeah, let's talk in the comments down below. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I hope you're having a good one. Bye everybody.